Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the Twin Temples playing as Kaisar's Legion. So right now, we are planning to attack the Scorpion Bites, but we must choose our next focus first. So we could do Crossing the Rubicon eventually. War for Hoover Dam. Uh, I don't know if I really want to fight for that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I really want to expand everywhere but the NCR because I want to focus on getting a lot of smaller nations under our belt. But anyways, the next focus that we shall choose. We just finished the Twin Temples for more research speed and more factories. Legion Mongrels or Shuttle, God of Dogs. Oh, dog. More soft attack from dogs, but I'm not really going to use dogs too much. We do this, we get three more arms workshops and two more civilian workshops. Or we can go from Wyatt the Demon for more division speed and two more Spec Ops infantry. Well, that sounds all nice and all. But, you know what? I'm thinking we might just have a massive slave army when we're done here. And because we want a massive slave army, I'm probably going to go with service, publicus, but not yet. I want to do Two Sons Tribute. The city of Two Sons fought for us for their freedom, and even now, they possess some of it. We do not garrison them unless absolutely necessary. And in exchange, they deal not in illegal goods, They and they send us vast portions of their wealth and metal, fueling our war machine. And on top of me wanting to go with... Ooh, triplane attackers. But lots and lots of slaves, because nothing says Kaisar's Legion like slavery. I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to conquer some nations, but I'm going to puppet them. Like the Navajo Nation. I want to take out the Navajo Nation and puppet them. I want to abuse all the manpower that they can possibly give me. Now, for Scorpion Bites, I will take them over. Just to, just to take all their factories, because I need their factories. But... I will puppet the Navajo Nation and other nations like that so that I can continue my war machine without sacrificing too many of my own good, relatively good, men. Um, I'm thinking about taking out over Pecos Colony as well just because that's a nice little addition to have, a little part of Texas, or what was known as Texas at one point. But I'm really looking for countries or nations that have at least a little bit of manpower so I can take it from them and abuse them and use them. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Um, the ranchers here... They don't have a ton of manpower. It's not bad. Magenta de Sol. Not bad either. I might take out these guys. They're not in a faction. They're actually at war with someone else. Hmm. What about Tohono Nation, actually? Not great. Yeah, that's not great. I'll probably take out Navajo Nation first, and then we'll keep working on this little area. I just want to keep going to war with everybody. That's just my goal. Just go to war with everyone. Until they're all under me. It'll take about 200 days for us to do that. But let us go ahead and start producing some... Triplane attackers. That'll be extremely, extremely important to do. Ooh, we're actually building some stuff too. Build some... Build one military factory because we will need it. It looks like I can't really build too much in any single place. So, except over here. Greatness awaits. Cool, let's go, go ahead and go to wall. Um, you guys, you're only 10 combat width, really. Yeah, 10 and then 10. It's not good. We could really use more explosive equipment, too. Um, yeah, these guys definitely won't be able to hang or hang up to us. No, stand up to us. Gender equality through violence. This is a generic tree. What about up here? Weather dogs. Shiny new toys. Doesn't look like it's too different. Nice. This, this nation's pretty easy to take over, which is kind of nice. But definitely want to take out Navajo Nation, because they can be kind of big. And I want to make sure all of New Mexico is mostly under us. Is it New Mexico? I don't know my geography that well. Forgers, is that part of Utah? No. Utah, Salt Lake City's up here. Oh, there we go. Nice, very good. And then we will do Two Sun War Camp. The Legion does not have a permanent base within the city of Two Suns to remind these people that they live under our thumb. So in response, Kaisar ordered this construction of a massive military camp less than a mile from the city. It is here we, our tributes are delivered, and it is here that numerous warriors are trained in the art of war. So we can give our monthly population. The Junction. Um, I guess I already fulfilled all their orders. So, now we have new orders. Very nice, very good. And they're gone. Now, I want to puppet some nations, but this is just isn't really worth the puppet. Navajo Nation is worth the puppet, though. Nice. That was nice and easy. You guys, let's go ahead and stack you up over here. 
New Navajo. And I'm going to do this. This is probably not a great idea. Give me half of you guys. Come down over here. Do that. The, the Legion Motor Chariots in the north. And the Tucson Warriors in the east. And now we got a lot of time before we can go to war with them. Which really sucks, but whatever. Um, incidents, we could stage incidents eventually. We could scavenge for stuff. Not really needed right now. We're just going to keep, keep building up stuff. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just repair all these first. I think that'd be a good idea, just because we can use those factories when they're all repaired, so that's really why. Um, for now, take you guys off. You really didn't do anything up here, which is totally fine. Come back down to Phoenix. Oh, we have another battle cruiser. Nice. Awesome. The Trireme. Yeah, I don't want to mispronounce things like I've already have in this campaign already. Trireme. Uh, more description sounds pretty good to me. We're, now we must very, very much focus on demo equipment. We need more grenades. Tons and tons and tons of grenades while we have a good amount of infantry equipment. A decent amount of spec ops stuff. Support equipment, APCs, stuff like that. So, you know, because of that... That actually increases the amount of water that we need. Um... None. Go ahead and give me one thing of water from the damn busters. Just one. Oh, we have an extra military factory we can spread around. Um. No fac. Oh, no factories. Oh, no factories assigned. That's why. That would make sense. Eventually we'll do that. Good. Yeah, we just need more resources to camp. Tucson. War camp. Enslaved tribals. The people of Tucson are relatively safe from legionary. Legionnaire, legionary, conscription. Yet the tribals who are under the per their protection are ours to claim now. The tomb walkers, the sun hunters, and the road runners shall be absorbed into the legion and from the heart of a new cohort. More monthly population. Legionnaire, legionaries, legionnaires. Hmm. I always have words. I always have trouble speaking sometimes, as you can probably tell right now. Oof. Hmm. More stability doesn't sound bad, but I could get more military factories. Old rifle border. Um, we still could do stuff over here. Can I get the goddess Diana? Broken mother Selene. More research speed. Okay. Um, daily political power is not bad. Oh, we need to do Wyatt the demon to get more daily political power. Speed demon. Yeah, I can do that already. Uh, hides his teeth. All right. Not that's not bad either. We could do that too. Military theorist. I think that'd be pr probably one of the best things to do as well. Goddess Diana. Decode signals. Awesome. Encoded signals. What is the NCR up to currently? Ranger reorganization. Guaranteeing the independence of Arroyo. Volunteers. Sent volunteers to the ranchers. Seth. Monopolies. Legacy of Navarro. Baja Blues. Drummond's demands. Opening the Long 15. Anything else? Shoshone declare war on the Bone Dancers. All right. Let time keep going on since we have a lot of time before we can kill off the Navajo Nation. They don't have a lot of divisions. We obviously have more. But, eh, they might be a little bit of a trouble. Maybe, maybe not. Enslaved tribals. Well then. I'm about to sneeze. But, wait, what is... Vexillarius. Each court should be given a banner. Huh. That sounds kind of cool. Technology for that. I don't want to do this yet just because it hurts our consumer goods factories and I want as many consumer goods factories as possible until we hit like 300 because when we hit 300 it's just going to be super easy just to produce stuff so I want to really wait until then. Ooh, Does this get any technology as well? No, we don't get any technology. Each one of these sub uh, trees adds one technology which would be really cool but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and do Wyatt the Demon. So, the Cochise County Cowboys revere an ancient figure they call Wyatt the Demon. His servants are the most elite of the Cowboys, outlaws with a keen sense of survival. If we embrace this Wyatt, they may bolster our army. Yes, please. 96% effective total manpower because we took decimation for our land doctrine. Um, otherwise, other than that, we just need more demo equipment. How are our motorcycles? That's okay. And these are exactly the same thing. So, I might be in APCs. 
I don't have any. I'm not making any APCs right now. I might be inclined to just make inclined to make a bunch of motorized infantry for now. Maybe I'll make them 40 with someday. We'll have like the super mega chariots. Ooh, cult of personality, more special forces capacity multiplier, and then of course we will go with plus 10% more breakthrough. I love breakthrough so much. Um, our ships probably arrived in Phoenix. Good. High pri priority repair. And at least we now have a capital ship. A trireme on that fleet. That's good. Alright. How many more days do we have? We're going to have quite a few days before we can go to war with these guys and puppet them. Less than 100. That's good. That's very good. Now, I'm going to wait. So, ooh, we can spell, expel Rift Draft. I love expelling the Rift Draft. I'm going to wait to get that... Uh, bonus to land doctrine as well as more daily army xp a bi biplane fighter i love it love it love it love it um infantry stuff well we're probably gonna go with ballistic fist just because we can so we'll do that gliders let's do that oh we're gonna need to make more stuff more of everything uh, factory wise there we go finish repairing all that stuff very nice uh, I also have a cup of coffee here. Not bad, not bad. Love that coffee. Division-wise, anyone have upgrades? Legget? Our current Legget? No, Vulpus has been doing very well. Scarily well. The most experienced of our generals. Tribunus Marianus. Marianus. Not a lot of skill, but he hasn't been in that many battles, so that makes sense. More cap growth, dockyard output. Yes, please. Alright, I just want to see if Anything is going to go happen, go to war. Obviously, Tlalo Khan isn't doing very much since Daddy's still alive, but that robot daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that Praetorian Guard over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I increase the size of these guys yet? We did increase it by a little bit because... No, I am out of... Um, yeah. I'm out of uh, army XP, and that's why I need that one guy. So, let's go ahead and grab him. Nice. Why the demon? Ah, uh, very good. And we now need to save up our political power so we can go to war with someone else because our focuses don't exactly let us do that at the moment. Unless we do stuff like down here, maybe. Do we get more annex war goals against people? Are we Oh, we need to really the conquer the 86. We need to do Mexican expansion. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's do that. We're going to focus on this. And then we'll do that, and then that eventually. So we get to the Conqueror of the 86 to get to crossing the Rubicon, but really, New Judea or whatever. Nice. Wyatt the Demon, thank you very much. I'll do the Demon's Servants eventually, as well as uh, this one, but obviously I need to shuttle God of Dogs. Alongside the Hangdogs believe that they are spiritually linked with dogs, they believe in a great canine god named Shuttle, and the tribals from the Hangdogs clamor for their god. We may embrace this god into our pantheon. And we get dog tech number one. We lose a little bit of stability, but that's all right with me. Very nice. Ah, we have more speed. I love it. Ah, gotta love that coffee. Ooh, so, um, are we making any planes? We have a few planes. Oh, my goodness. And the best person, or the best division to put it on, of course, would probably be... Honestly, probably Vulpus, but I don't want to do Vulpus. I want to do my Praetorian Guard, because... Why not make your stronger units the absolute strongest you can make them? Uh, go up to 50 for now, since that's the size of the airbase. That'll be good. Um, yeah, once we're at war with these guys. So, let's take a quick look. Oh, Rapids exiled. The NCR has made a foolish move in their attempts to control the riverbanks of the Colorado, evicting the once powerful Rapids tribes from the ancestral homelands. They've come to us in their thousands, bringing in with them ships and supplies, eager warriors who now seek revenge against the NCR for taking their homelands. In time, their culture shall be broken, and their people shall become one with us. Oh, but until then, let's enjoy our new fleet. More manpower, and three naval dockyards. Great, thank you very much. Can I send you... Oh, hello there. Can I send you divisions? Huh, can I send them divisions that they just gave me? Rapid exiles, how did this look like? Oh, oh, oh. Six combat with. Um, I don't know if I exactly like that. If I send them divisions, it just might be a waste of time. But it might be a good idea to do so. Maybe get a little bit more XP. Maybe we can send some planes over there. 
that might help slow down the NCR. Oh, never mind. They don't care. Well, I'm going to take your soldiers and I'm going to keep them for now because I'm going to use them as garrisons. Awesome. Because there's a ton of waterways around here, and I forgot we had more ships we can use or build. Even though these honestly all kind of suck. Hmm. I guess we'll do that next. Doesn't really matter. I can't even make it anyways. Cool. So as time goes on, as we're waiting to go to the Navajo Nation. So many waterways, my friends. So many waterways. Nice. Mm-hmm, looking good. All over the place. Very good. Definitely Red Sun City. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of Coast Guard divisions. Obviously, I don't think three divisions is going to be enough to guard all these areas, but you know, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I don't think I am, though. Guard, guard, guard. North and South Phoenix. I think I hit all the coasts that I currently have. Now we only need 22 divisions. And, the, you know, the Rapids, I could have given you help. I could have assisted you. I could have given you some of my planes. But you said no. Just remember who rejected who here. So, let's go ahead and go back over here. Now, we can go to over the Baudelio, Baudelio ranchers eventually, as well as the Pecos ranchers, or Pecos colonists. So, that'll be good. So I'm not going to go to war with those guys yet. New Judea, War for Hoover Dam, Brotherhood of Steel, Neighbor of Mahabaho, Mojave Chapter. So ranchers and Pecos colonists. So these guys should be under us eventually. So we might go to war with Genta de Sol. Maybe. Or we just keep going north. We'll probably just keep going north, honestly. Pop up the Navajo Nation. Take their manpower. Use them as slave warriors and coast guard slaves and then focus on the south so far i'm playing as a very relatively peaceful nation if you compare me to the ncr maybe well i don't know i ain't doing too much to people cool let's go ahead and go to war you guys should honestly pretty much just be ready to go especially if we got a few planes on our side compared to the enemy um yeah let's go ahead and do that we have enough to do you guys over here just kind of maybe... Uh, how big is that division? Oh, that's 20 combat width. I might wait to do that. You guys are 20 combat width, which is good, and you're only 10. You guys should be okay doing this. Yeah. And then the next justification for war. We could go to war with the foragers, which we will be connected a little bit to them over here. Um, and definitely over here. Forgers, how much manpower do they have? Uh, they got quite a few divisions over here. Mm, let's take out the Iron Alliance next. 200 days? That's fine with me. Oh, right. You might not be able to win every battle, but that's okay. Damage wise, come on, airplanes, get in the air. Oh, you're coming from up there. Well, it doesn't look like they're doing very much at the current moment. Awesome. Shadow God of Dogs with Train Mongrels. Now we'll do Conqueror of the 86 with these final tribals conquered. The Legion is now made up of 86, an impressive title, a feat of conquering and assimilating 86 tribes is unprecedented in the wasteland. Now these guys, these booboos, we gotta go here immediately and then come to New Cortez so we can take their uh, supplies away from them. Go ahead and do that. Uh, do not let them link up. If I have to sacrifice you, so be it. Take their supplies away. Good. Now, we have a division there. Conquer the 86. Let's go ahead and do with Mexican expansion. South of Kaisar's territory is the land of Mexico. It is a prime point of expansion with many weak tribes and nations. Should the Legion's army find themselves in Mexico, the conquest would be easy. I'll go ahead and take Dove Creek. I almost said Dove Creek. Who the heck is Dove? Um, you guys are struggling, and I'm losing territory in the north because I didn't realize there was a thing up there. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, for you guys, go ahead and just go ham. Let's end this quickly. Uh. 
go ahead and do that. I'm not really worried about this over here, since these guys should be conquered fairly easily. Oh, they actually sent all their divisions this way. No wonder I couldn't break them. Nice. And we'll do Pecos Colonists next. A peaceful group of settlers who occupy a large swath of land called Pecos Colony. They would not stand a chance against the Legion. War, war support. I'm going to go with more stability, if I can. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Prioritize consumer goods. That's, I think, worth it. Let's go ahead and do we need to do anything here? I might do Arizona Ranger next for more stability, as well as more daily political power. That might be good to do. Alright. Please, come to New Mexico, please. Alright, thank you very much. And, like I said earlier, Navajo Nation, you're going to be my puppet. I'm literally going to use you as slaves. Thank you very much for playing, guys. Thank you very much. Um, Iron Alliance, you are up next. Very good. 50 army XP. Well, let's let time go on for now. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that guy's first name. His middle name is Guy, though. Ah, uh, a little bit of manpower. Very good. That's exactly what I want to see. Now, I'm going to use these guys for now. I'm going to keep the Navajo Nation for, alive for quite a while. Um, I really need divisions to help bolster my army, but I also want divisions to help guard my coastline. Hmm. We'll use slaves to guard the coast for now. I think that'd be okay. Because eventually, I don't want to use up all their manpower one time. Unless, unless, Pecos Colony is better for slaves. Um, let's see, 7.2, 7.28, Ah, uh, well, you know what? I might just, yeah, you know, screw it. I'm going to use Navajo Nation as main infantry. And I'll use Pecos Colony as... I'm probably just going to annex them. And annex them. Because Genta de Soul. I could use Genta de Soul as that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to plan this all in my head. Um, Navajo Nation. What division would be good to take? 20 combat width. Not bad. With, they already have that. So, it wouldn't take too much more. Oh, hold on. I didn't do it correctly. Copy. There we go. You got to make sure that this has the little flag over there to make sure it actually works okay. I know. It's weird. Do that for now. Go ahead and do that. Give me three divisions at a time. I don't want to use up too much of their manpower at one time. Mmm. Tasty coffee. Actually, Pecos Colony 53 days. Iron Alliance will be quite a few more days. So go ahead and come down to Pecos Colony, actually. Do that. And any divisions we make from the Navajo Nation, we're going to make them into a separate army. Uh, defense, good. More entrenchment, awesome. How many divisions they got? Doesn't look like we can really use air support around here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, they got up to 20 divisions, which is not great. Let's go ahead and throw on one airbase. I guess really two airbases. Shouldn't be too long to build. Oh, and Machete Gladius. A bumper sword? Yes, please. Bumper sword. Rusty car bumper that has been flattened and sharpened into a thick, heavy blade. The license plate is still attached. An exhaust pipe straddled to the unsharpened end serves as a makeshift handle. I love it. I love it. Uh, am I going to use dogs? Are dogs even really worth it? Um, <coughs> they give you a little bit more breakthrough, a little bit more soft attack. They give you a little bit of recon, actually, and a little bit more suppression. Hmm. If I should use dogs in my divisions, please let me know in the comments below if you think I should or sh I should not. Um, I'm kind of open to yes, I'm open to no, so... Either one. And for now, I'm going to send you down here just to help guard the coast. So I don't forget that again. Yeah. From my divisions looking at them, I think we'll, we'll probably do okay. Up next, I do want Arizona Ranger. Mother Shaman, that's alright. That can wait. Standardized tools, very nice. Construction, thank you. 31,000 manpower. There go the Bone Dancers. Well, what is the NCR up to? 
Ranger propaganda. Always good. Always good. Uh, reconciliation awareness workshops. All right. Oh, I, I'm glad they actually added in the available memory so you can see how close Tlalocan is to falling. Um, a militia set to Anna's master Mexico. She declared war on Broken Coast. Oh. Chichen Itza scrapped the Mero de Adoros under Carlos Franco. So I've not seen that path before. Uh, the Princess of Tepic. And the Bumper Crops. So the she they were going to war with the Broken Coast. Hello, Yui Lan. A little bit of manpower. Quite a couple of ships, a couple of divisions. They have they're addicted. With copious amounts of fixer, wasteland counseling, and family guilt tripping, we've managed to entirely cure our society of drug addicts. Well, congratulations. Chinese language, uh, steel laboratory, settler nation. Oh, divisions? Oh, more legionnaires. Actually, that's quite a few of them. Throw you all under here, my friends. You're, oh, wait, I already made you tw I made you 20 combat with already. I forgot about that. Glorious. Truly glorious. Nice. Um, they went to war with Broken Coast, which is kind of interesting that... Why would she, all the way down here in San Francisco, go to war with Broken Coast all the way up in Alaska? Terror of the Seas. Yeah, they have their focus tree as well. A very cool focus tree. I've never played as them before. Maybe I'll play that sometime. Oh, Pecos Colonists. Thank you. And we'll immediately go do the Ranchos. They're a peaceful group of settlers who occupy a large swath of land called the Baudelio. They will not stand a chance against the Legion. Before we go to war with... Those are the guys. Screening Navy. Oh, Crimson Army. That's kind of cool. New Beijing. Ooh. Beijing Jewel. Repair Arroyo. Interesting. Interesting choices that they made. But let's go ahead and go to war. I don't think they'll stand too much of a chance. Where are those planes, guys? Yeah. Um, I'm, if I have to, I'll manually control you for now. Uh, I could just come down here first. And then I'll let you go. Come on. There you are. Alright. They're not allied with anybody. And let us have a good time with each other. Now, will these planes actually do any damage? They are doing some damage. One damage. A whole damage. I love damage. When I'm doing it to them. Losses, two. Not bad. 286. 300-ish. Not bad. Uh, sure, if you want to join in on the fun, I am more than open to that. If you want to join in on the fun, my slave warriors. Ah, oh, love it. I'll put it over here. Still building up stuff. We've got a lot of things to build around here. Or rebuild. Oh, another Praetorian Guard. Yeah, I don't think I can increase this any more if I pause it to 20 combat width. I'd rather have them be really good division, put us over the Special Forces division limit. Um, you know what, let's not make them then. I want to make sure that we, our Special Forces are actually really, really good. So it sounds like I'm going to have to research some tech that'll make them very, very good. Losses, with mo more and more breakthrough, the losses are just not almost non-existent. Which is what I love. Which is what I really, really love. Awesome. Let's get a little... Ooh. Can't go to war economy. That sucks. Um, actually, before we do that, that's speed. That's just generic stuff. Like, this looks pretty all generic. Bill's battleships. Huh. Um, Tim's tanks. Huh. West Tech. Angory armor. War shaman. Dog of war. More breakthrough and more soft attack. Lord of the pit. Bush ranger. Whoa. Infantry equipment. Breakthrough, plus 25%. Lucius. Lucius, my man. That might be really, really good to use. I really like that. If I should use that, let me know in the comments below. But I want to get this for now so we can get even more stability. Just a tiny bit more. So I can get some more. And then, now we can have over one political power a day. Beautiful. Tasty. Delicious. Mmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to annex these guys. Oh, they're out of manpower. That's great. I'm going to save up my political power now. And get ready to go to war with Genta del Sol. So that I can use them as a puppet to country. So I can get some Coast Guard divisions. Always got to think about those coasts, guys. You never know who might navally invade you. Like we already have seen from the Navajo Nation. Also, I, I decided to make these guys my puppets. 
because I can get some dynamite from them, but also because I can eventually annex them. Unlike Kaiserreich, the mod Kaiserreich, I can actually lower their autonomy eventually. So, I will annex them eventually. T potato farmers. Yeah, just work, just focus on reproducing. Yep, I like that. They had wasteland settlers. Just reproduce. That's all I want you to do. I am going to breed those slaves so hard that, uh... Oh, this is not going to actually work out very well for us. Um... Vulpus, you're going to command the, the... You know what? No. This is what we're going to do. Dang it. Vulpus, you come from here. Over here. Legget? Oh, no, not Legget. You're a Centurion Deodatus. You come from here, over here. And do you have an upgrade? Yes, you do. Uh, speedy boys? Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to do something like this. One, two, three. Just enough speedy boys to cover that. Barely. And then, you guys. Well, once we break over, it won't really matter. You guys come over there. Awesome. A few more factories. Um, I need more resources. If anything, I just need more resources. We need more demo equipment, which is good. Because we're getting out of that. Um, do that eventually, I suppose. There's really... I'm already making enough stuff. Fault City declared war on the Cyclops tribes. Um, infantry equipment's fine. Trouble Scout kits are fine. I guess do that for when we take over these ranchers. How long would it take for me to go to war with these guys? I need 40 more political power. That's almost a year. Holy cow. Oh, wait. We're trying to go to war with Iron Alliance as well. Oh, but we got a while. We have quite a while until then, so. Yeah, we need quite a bit more demo equipment. Oh, and planes. Don't want to forget about them planes. Oh, we lost a few planes, actually. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, purpose for Pecos. Aluminum. Enslaving the colonists. Assimilate the people. That sounds like fun. I love assimilation. Especially forced assimilation. Um, next up we'll do maybe... Damn busters. I don't want to give them any sort of ideas yet. So, we'll do the capital. Flagstaff is the heart and soul of the Legion. It was the first city conquered by Kaisar, and it is a place to which all trade in the four states region flows. Let us grow its reputation. Let it be a city to rival any in the NCR. Go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to war with these guys. It's NCR has divisions... Oh, they must still be fighting. Oh, they're fighting Genta de del Sol. Okay, well, you're not really doing anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and take what I deserve from you. Um, yeah, they're not guaranteeing them, so that's good. Thank you very much. We're getting attacked. We're getting attacked. With a few planes and the Navajo Nation with on my butt backside, we will do okay, of course. Awesome. Some new divisions. These are these are mostly defensive. You know what? I don't think I like the way I made these guys. Yeah. Go ahead and remove these. Oh, actually, do that instead. Yeah, just blast those guys on there. I, sh I made a mistake. I should have made this a little bit better. Oh, well. Tribunus Gallus. Not bad, not bad. At least we got another army now that we can use if needed. Oh, and the ranchers aren't doing so well. Oh, military engineering. Nice. And we will finish with the Legion. Organization loss of moving, much less. More breakthrough attacker. Good. And better combat width. So we might be able to throw in one more battalion into our divisions. Into our Legionnaires. Oh, they actually have a radar station. That's kind of nice. I'll take that. Primitive radio. I love it. And so, of course, more raid research speed. But happy, merry, and happy 2278, my friends. We actually have a little bit of air XP. That's kind of cool, too. All right, come on down here. All right, you guys. Yeah, you're already going ham. The, the divisions are gone. Genta de Sol. Del Sol. Really has nothing. Really doesn't have anything that we could really... <sighs> I'm not going to give them anything really from this war because they don't really deserve it. So uh, let's do a crop rotation, more population and recruitable factor gain. All right, we're almost there. The capital is done. Flagstaff fortress. The legion is a machine. It takes in weak things and spits out mighty things. 
men, boys become men, men become soldiers, soldiers become heroes, heroes become legends. But before this can happen, our legionnaires... Legionnaires will require weapons. I am need to focus on my pronunciations, guys. They are not very bueno. Go ahead and take that. Come down here if you can. Just come across the river. Oh, three dockyards. Um, well, I mean, like everything else, she almost go on. And we cut these guys off. Great. Go ahead and do that. Oh, I ain't going to let you guys do anything right now. Go ahead. Everyone come to this side. Kill this guy off. Um, you all have done a great job. Don't think I really need you down here, but who cares? Do it anyways. And the city will most likely be ours. Very good. Oh. Sorry, Genta. You don't deserve a single thing of this. If you don't like it, tough. I'll put you back on there. A few more factories, but we do not have enough resources, which is quite, quite unfortunate. Now, I'm going to put you a little bit further down south. Put you right there. New Reno, Clearwater, and Antelope Tribes. Go ahead, my friends. And... Come up to Iron Alliance. Oh! Deodatus, you have another thing? Oh, level 5. Very good, very good, my friend. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much all the time for that we have today. Tomorrow, we will begin engaging in a war against Iron Alliance. We have taken Navajo Nation and made them our puppet. We will go to war with Genta del Sol once we have the war justification for the Iron Alliance. And, who knows, we might end up in a war with the NCR. We might not. I don't know. Until tomorrow, though. With that in mind, though, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I apologize for my mispronunciations for all of these words that I missed. And check out my Discord link below. And I hope you all have a great, great, tremendous day.